This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot. Here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Aries. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aries. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this weekend. Spirit messages to my Aries. Okay, so you're in some type of worry and distress about something that you're trying to manifest. As regards to a marriage, a relationship, or a long-term union. But things are looking up for you. No matter what you're going through this week, know that things are changing in your favor. Now, we have two cards here that is indicating to me that you're in a lot of stress mentally and you're trying to fix something and it feels like you're running up against a brick wall concerning a marriage a long-term commitment a relationship and you're expecting something to happen but it's not happening for you so it's giving you a sense of frustration a child may be involved or it could be that you are trying to look at things from a different way or a different perspective. But things are changing for you. Because you have great fortune. That is happiness, financial gain, abundance. So no matter what you're going through this weekend, keep in mind that it is going to change for you. So let's jump into the tarot and see exactly what is happening here. Spirit messages to my Aries. Yeah, it really ha it, it it is about a relationship. It is about a love connection, something that you feel very strong, something that you want to manifest. But you're keeping it a secret from the other person. Or you're keeping it a secret from other people. But you're trying to trust the intuition as to when to make the move. Or to hold patience in the situation. You could be connecting to a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. But you are ready to rush into someone and offer them love. Because you have finally stopped trying to defend yourself against the relationship. I think you were the one that were giving the resistance for a long time. And you finally realized that you do want this now. Because you're finally realizing that this person is your person. You want this person to be your person. And you see long term with them. could be a Leo some of you are connecting to or you have it in your chart but you're trying to find the strength to go towards this person now you have been expecting them to come towards you but for some of you it's not happening so you are trying to gather up the courage to go towards them because something was unfair and unbalanced in this situation and you're trying to change your perspective on it for some of you, you could be connecting to a Libra or you could have it in your chart. But there is some type of truth that you're finally accepting or, you're, or you, you are wanting to tell someone. I think the truth is you want to offer this person a relationship. After you were the one that resisted the relationship for a while. But something is about to be brought to your attention you're about to finally learn some truth 
could be a Cancer or a Pisces you're dealing with. You could have this in your chart. But there is some truth that is about to come forward for you. That is not really going to make you very happy. It is not going to be a wish fulfillment. For some of you, you are currently in a situation that doesn't make you happy. But you want a new beginning in love. You feel a soul connection with someone. You may have some codependency issues that is causing you or was causing you to refrain from having a relationship with anyone. Because you can't seem to get your bearings as regards to your finances or your home life. For some of you, you may be employed, unemployed. Or if you're working, your salary just doesn't cut it. And you're in this place of not wanting to be in a relationship with someone if you're always in lack. But that is a mindset. Change your mindset and things will change for you. Alright, so you're missing this person. You're nostalgic about this person. For some of you, this may be someone new. But you're trying to trust your intuition because you feel like this person may be lying to you or holding back from you or keeping a secret from you. But you're finally ready to understand that it will be an equal give and take in this situation because this person may have been waiting for you as well. They may have been waiting for you to make up your mind and come towards them and you waiting for them to make up their mind and come towards you. So it could be a waiting game be between the two of you. But there is no communication here. Someone isn't communicating with the other or both are holding back from each other. But you're both waiting. You're both in the energy of waiting on the next one. Because you're, you're in this space of wondering what to do. And you're in this space where, you know, it feels frustrating. It really does. This whole situation with you, Aries, does feel frustrating. Yeah, because you're trying to step into your own energy and become this charismatic person again and try to make decisions based on what you're passionate about and go towards someone passionately. But that is the energy you're trying to get back into because you're ready to offer your love to this person. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. But you're ready to offer your love to this person. You're ready to rush into them and give them an offer of a relationship. Because you see ten of pentacles with them. You see long-term commitment. You see um, home, family. You know, you, you, you... It's just really frustrating, Aries. This is really... Fr this reading is really frustrating. Now you want long-term commitment with this person or this person could want it with you. But there is a wait and see type of energy here on both of on both sides of the fence. No one is going towards the other one to offer them anything. So there is no offers at this point in time. Both of you know what your intentions are, but nobody is taking action. It's like one of you thinks of taking action, tries to go towards the other, and then pulls back. Because you feel stuck, Aries, or could be a cancer you're dealing with, but somebody feels stuck in the situation. Because whatever happened to cause this type of insecurity in the relationship is causing one of you to question the relationship on the whole. Now we have the King and the Queen of Cups. For some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. doesn't have to be. But one person wants to go to the, towards the other. But the other one is hiding the way they feel and not wanting to express it. Alright, so there is a kind of wait and see. Someone wants the other one to chase them. Maybe, I don't know. 
Yeah. For some of you, this could be a third party situation where you have no other choice but to hold back from Aries or Aries, it could be you. It is the reason why you have to hold back from this person. But you do want to build something with this person. It That is the intention at this point in time. You just don't know how to go about doing it. Yeah. Because there is definitely a pull towards this person sexually. Um, this relationship is spiritually guided. It could be a soulmate connection or a twin flame. But you are the happiest when you're with this person. And you know that. You see long term with this person. But I think you were pulling back because you were afraid of your own feelings and emotions. Could be you, could be them. But I do see that there is a third party here. So I think this is the reason for one of you having to pull back from the other and not invest as much as you would like to. For some of you, it's a Leo you're connecting with, but there is something that you're not seeing. Something that you're trying to figure out, but something that you are not seeing here. All right, so let's see what is the best advice in my Aries in this connection. <clears throat> What is the best advice on my Aries in this connection? Mm. So you have learned a lot from this connection and this person. And... Uh, You're a lot wiser than you were before. But you're one of you, or both of you, are still self-sabotaging. So you're holding back from each other, not saying what it is you should say or you need to say, and expecting the other one to read your mind. But while in silence, you think you're learning something about this person. Or you have learned a valuable lesson. Or you're going to learn a very valuable lesson here. But one of you do want to take the chance and have a conversation with the other person. But are you not sure what would be the outcome of it? And it's fear that is causing you to not move towards this person and this person not move towards you. All right, so there are intentions here that you guys do want a relationship. You do want to be with each other, but it's either there is a third party involved where one of you are married or in a long-term commitment or have someone else. And the other one is just fearful of what would be the outcome if they do open up. All right, but this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.